Hi honey bunnies, welcome back. It's me, Jenny. Hope everybody's doing good today. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys are all at home, nice and safe, drinking your hot cocoa, watching me, right? And YouTube. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscription button in the bottom so you guys can check out wonderful DIY projects that I have coming for you guys in the future. Um, if you guys already are my return scrubbies, thank you so much for watching me. Um, I'm going to be doing a very simple and easy project today with you guys. I have been working on my Project Life album for next month and I was doing some valentine's day gift tags and i said to myself you know what let me record um so you guys can see how simple and easy it is to create some little valentine's day gift cards for any gifts that you guys are going to maybe give to your friends or your family um maybe you want to use it on your project life album maybe you want to scrapbook it you know whatever it is that you want to do um, you can do it and it's very simple and easy. You don't need too many materials. So um, now I'm also working on my Project Life album for next month. I bought tons of things from Joann's and I cannot wait to show you guys the stuff that I got. I cannot wait. I am so excited to just get my album going. Um, I will be doing a video maybe after this one on the stuff that I got at Joann's and my thoughts about Project Life. Um, I got a few things that I wanted to discuss with you guys about it, but not in this video because it'll be too long, okay? So stay tuned for that video. Okay, so we're just going to do simple gift tags, guys. Now, I wanted to put myself in a position that... For example, if you guys are just starting out scrapbooking or you're starting out making um, cards, um, maybe you don't have a lot of stickers at home, maybe you don't have a lot of like wood veneers like these at home, maybe, um, you know, maybe your supply is very limited, right? So I'm thinking to myself, if your supplies are very limited, you can still create a very beautiful tag using paper. I mean, paper in itself is awesome. As long as you have uh, maybe like a punch. If This is a Martha Stewart punch hole. It's a, it's a heart. I use this and I also use the American Crafts little banner punch. If you have a few punches at home, you can create literally anything, okay? Including a gift tag. So, that's what we're going to concentrate on today, okay? Now, what I did was I used the paper from Hello Love. This is from Crate Paper. I absolutely am in love with this paper. I love it. I ordered the, um, the chipboard stickers on scrapbook.com along with other things. I can't wait to get that order in. And um, I have been looking for the double-sided stickers for this collection and everywhere I go is sold out. So I don't know, I have to find out where I can get this um, the stickers for this collection because it is absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, okay, so what I did was I picked out a few papers. I have my phone right here and it's kind of like, um, it's kind of distracting me, right? Um, okay, let me just put it down. So I picked out a few papers from this collection so I can um, start with my uh, gift tags. The one thing that I did pick out that was very important, which was basically the reason why um, this tags came out so, I would say, um, pretty, is because I used the paper pad that had all the Valentine's Day wording on it. And what I did was I just trimmed out the words okay so for example let me show you really quickly what I mean by that this paper right here as you can see has everything it has love Valentine's Day it has the this love with the cute little um, hearts around it um, I cut this Valentine's Day also, Kiss Kiss, I also cut just a lot of cute little words. I What I did was I trimmed the paper in half 
and then I started fuzzy cutting all those words and that's how I came across and that's how I got these as you can see see how this is for like the Valentine's Day um, this one says Valentine's Day on it uh, this one says be my Valentine's Day um, this one just says kiss I love you this one says hello hello um, this one says uh, February 14 it's just a little words that um, that you can create to says X's and O's and then I also cut out some little um, like these some little um, arrows as well because what we're going to do is these little things that we cut out is what we're going to make our tags look pretty and Valentine's Day ish festive I guess you want to say okay so once you decide on what paper you're going to use okay um, then we can get started with our with our tag now what I did was just an FYI if you have a, a, a heart punch what I did was I took this paper pad from the collection and I just went around the heart just like this and I cut it out and here I created a cute little heart in no time okay so this is what I'm saying you don't really need stickers you don't really need a lot of supplies as long as you have pretty paper you can really do anything okay so let's get started okay so I'm gonna create a few papers for you um I started doing this one I love this this tag now this tag was inspired by the open book collection from crate paper and I saw this tag on Hobby Lobby I think I took a picture of it also let me see and I was obsessed with it guys I was obsessed with this tag I absolutely love it but I didn't buy it because it was missing a few tags so I said you know what I can probably DIY this tag at home if I really really put my mind to it and so what I did was I took a picture of it and I'm gonna show you right now here it is see I took a picture of it it's gonna get dark now but this is what the tag looks like and then these are the these are the rest of the tags there's a few of them and the collection is called open book so what I did was I took um I took a few uh, uh, pictures of the tag and what I did was I came home and I started to you know play around with the paper that I had and I actually came up pretty nice so this is kind of inspired by the open book tag collection okay all right so I did this one now we're going to finish off the rest of the tags that we have here okay so again like I said very simple I just took the um, the wordings from one of the paper patterns and I just cut it out as you can see here I have the happy Valentine's Day and then what I did was I also um, fuzzy cut an arrow and then I cut the arrow in half okay so we're gonna create um, the gift tag number one I guess you can say I'm gonna put these on the side I kind of pre-plan the tags how I want them just to save a little bit of time I didn't want this video to be super 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 long so I just did that to save a little bit of time okay so let's work on the first tag that we have here first of all we have this adorable tag and I used the paper um, with the heart the pattern of the heart, the heart paper um, and then I also what I did what I also did was I um, pre-cut some tags just to have them I used a template and I just started cutting the tags so basically just use a template trace it out and start cutting your tags okay you don't have to really need a very you know um, you don't need really much of anything just as long as you have a template of a tag or you could make your own. if you're a good drawer you can make your own all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start first by making the hole where the ribbon is going to go okay and what I also did was I went into my stash and I got these reinforcements from Heidi um, this is from the memory planner and what I did was I am going to be using the reinforcements because they're just so beautiful 
and they're so glittery so I just decided to use them okay so I'm gonna put a reinforcement right on that right there just like that look already it looks beautiful doesn't it I love that all right very good let me zoom you in okay and let's get started with this tag okay so what I want to do is I fuzzy cut the happy Valentine's Day um, and I'm going to use dimensions on the happy Valentine's Day so we're gonna do that okay and then Okay, here and here. And then, so this is going to go here. And the arrow that I also fuzzy cut, I'm going to put in between. So it's going to kind of go like this. See? And then it's going to go like this. That's cute, right? So let's um, first uh, hear the Happy Valentine's right here okay we're gonna put some tape adhesive to the arrow okay and we're going to basically put the arrow there and we're going to put this here There you go. And that's going to look just like that. See that? That's super cute. Okay. Now, if you want to put some, um, some maybe, I don't know, sequins, you could if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep my tags very simple because I want to use these tags for my Project Life albums. So I'm going to kind of keep these tags very simple. I'm not going to really do too much to it just because I don't want it to be like super crazy. So I'm just going to put the ribbon through, okay, just like this. And I'm basically done with this tag. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, and that's the tag. That's the finished tag. I love this tag. So cute. All right, that's one tag down. The other tag that we're going to do is going to be very simple also, okay? This one is from the actual paper pad, and it already comes, the tag already is already in there. I just trimmed it out, fuzzy cut it. Same thing, I'm going to, op I'm going to make a hole here. And then what I did was I fuzzy cut the word love, and then I fuzzy cut this cute little heart with the little lashes. I don't know if you can see that, but it has these cute little lashes, okay? I thought that was super cute. So we're going to use some, actually, I'm not gonna use dimensions on the love. I'm just gonna tape it, okay? I'm gonna tape it down right here. And I'm going to use some dimensions on the cute little heart. So let's use some dimensions, but I have to cut this one because this is way too big. So let's just cut this dimension in half. Okay. There we go. And then we're gonna put this cute little heart right here. See that? That's super cute. And then we have another heart that I also fuzzy cut and we're gonna put this heart right here, okay? So we're gonna use the other half of the dimension and we're gonna put that fuzzy cut heart right there as well. There you go. And then you have another another tag finished okay let's get the ribbon
And there you have it. I love these tags because they're so simple, so easy to do. And they're so cute. Okay, and you can always, you know, spice it up. If you want to put some sequins around the tags, you can. If you want to put some um, watercolor on it, you can. You can do so much with it. Okay, the other tag that we're going to do is going to be this cute hello, this cute love sign that I also fuzzy cut from the pattern of paper. Um, I did these cute little um, banners with the punch that I showed you guys earlier using the same pattern of paper. I got four of those. And what I did here, I used these cute little um, sequins. Now, what is this? I'm going to show you. This is a snowflake from the Christmas um, little ornaments that I used, that I have. I put these away because obviously Christmas is over, but I liked how this cute little glittery, um, kind of like leafy looking thing is. So I just decided to use a snowflake and I just cut it out. I cut it out, I snipped it out a little bit here, just like this. See that, I snipped it out. And then I was able to use these cute little sparkly leaf looking things, right? So that's another way you can also use your Christmas things. You don't have to necessarily put them away. You can always keep them out in case you need them for the future. Okay, same thing with this one. We're gonna punch out a hole. By the way, can we talk about this paper, how beautiful it is? I love that paper. Okay. Now, we are going to put the Love in the center, I'm going to use dimensions in the back of this here. And then I also want to kind of do like a ribbon effect. See, just like this, sort of like a ribbon effect. So let me put some adhesive in the back of here and some adhesive in the opposite side here. And then we're going to adjust how we want our little banner to look. I want to kind, kind of it to look like a ribbon. See, just like that, it looks sort of like a ribbon. So that's a ribbon on one end and we're going to do a ribbon on the other end. And we're just gonna eyeball it, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. There you go, see that? That's perfect. And then you have a cute little sort of a ribbon. So we're gonna put this in the center of our gift card, I'm sorry, gift tag, just like so. See that? How cute is that? And then we're going to add these cute little ones that we just cut out. We're gonna add some in the middle just here, okay, and in the middle here. And we're going to add this just right there. And then you have that cute little thing poking out, see that? We're gonna do the same thing on the other end. Just like that. And there you have your finished tag. Okay, another tag, done. So cute, I love this tag. Same thing, get the ribbon and just, I like, this ribbon is beautiful, but I think it's too thick, so I like to cut it in half so I can make more use out of it. So let's see here. What I'm doing right now, cutting it in half so I can use two tags instead of one. All right, perfect. I'm gonna put the ribbon through my tag. Now, if you wanna put a reinforcement, you can. I'm not going to put a reinforcement on this one just because I already have some glittery going on. I'm gonna leave it just as is, but you want, if you wanna put a reinforcement, you can. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I like it like that. Okay. Ribbon is on. OK. 
Okay, and there goes another tag, complete. See that? So gorgeous, I love this. Beautiful. Okay, so we got four tags done. Awesome. We're gonna do one more, maybe two. We'll see, what time is it? Oh, super early for me. Let's do one more, okay? Let's do this one that has the word love. I got two of these cute little hearts from the foil kit from Project Life. I bought, I got two of these. Um, I also have these two little cute little hearts that we cut out with the punch. And then we have these adorable little tiny kind of leafy things that we did from the snowflakes, okay? Let's create another tag perhaps maybe one more after this one we'll see okay again same thing oops okay how we're going to position this one is i want to have the love but i want to have these banners right behind the word love just like this so Tape adhesive on one side, tape adhesive on the other. We're gonna take this cute little banner and we're gonna put it like that. We're gonna take the other banner. Where did it go? Where's the other banner? Oh, here it is. And we're gonna put it just like that as well. And then you have a cute little banner. Okay, this is gonna go like this in the middle with dimensions. Let's put dimensions in the back of this. One should be fine. And then, just like that, see that? And we're gonna put these hearts poking out just like that. See that? Perfect, right? So let's first put some dimensions on these hearts. Let's reposition them how we want to, which is going to be like this. And then this one is going to go like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put these tiny ones maybe here between those two. Just like that. Then we're gonna put the word love right here in the center, not in the center, but almost kind of in the center. Just like that. And then these cute little tiny things, I think I'm gonna poke them and put them one here and then one here, okay? So I'm gonna put some, a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue back here and then we're going to put this just like that and then we're going to do the other side just like that and there goes another tag i love these tags they're so pretty let's put the ribbon through pulled it too much so it ripped got a solution for that we're gonna use reinforcements okay so let's put some reinforcements on that little booboo -boo that I just did no big deal okay and I'm gonna put two reinforcements one in the front and one in the back because I want to make sure that that does not go anywhere See that? Okay, very good. So, I'm gonna put this in through here. Just like that. I'm going to make a knot. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? See this how this is? I'm gonna I'm gonna staple this right here, 
just because I don't want it to go undone. Okay, I'm gonna staple this right here, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna leave this just like that. Now, if you want, we can do a little knot. Okay, there we go. See, cute little knot. That kind of makes it a little bit much more looking better. And there you have it, guys. There you have the other tag. How pretty. Aren't these tags gorgeous? I just love these tags. I think the paper is just so lovely that it kind of makes the tag look so much more prettier than what they really are. Okay, They're simple. As you can see, they're very simple to make. You don't really need too many um, things to make a tag. But the paper itself is just so gorgeous that it makes the tag just pop out even more. Okay, one more and then I'm done, okay? Let's do this one other simple, simple, simple one. This one is just very simple. I cut out the pattern of, of, the, of the paper that has all the wordings in it. I cut the pattern and I made it into a tag. Let's do the hoe. This one's gonna be super simple. And the reason why it's simple is because the pattern already is very busy, right? Super busy. So what I did was, I'm going to use this uh, crin crinkling paper. I don't know what you call this paper. This is a paper that you use when you have like parties. You just do little, I don't know, decorations. I forgot what this paper is called. Uh, tell me in the bottom of what this paper is called, guys. Help me out. I'm gonna cut out a little piece of this paper, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crumble it up like this. See that? And I'm going to do kind of like a ruffle effect. See that? And that looks kind of like a little ruffle. Effect to it, okay? Now, once you have this cute little ruffle effect, let it go and then you'll have this little accordion kind of looking thing now there's two ways of doing this you can either stitch this with your sewing machine down or you can use adhesive i'm going to use adhesive because i have i don't have my sewing machine with me it's upstairs and so i'm going to use some adhesive so i'm going to use double double sided tape okay i put it i run it down the middle and then very carefully you're going to place this adorable wrinkly paper right where you put the double-sided adhesive, okay? And as you're doing it, just make sure that you get that ruffle effect, okay? Just like so. And if you need to add more paper, then you can do that. See that? And that's what you're gonna get, that ruffle, that really cute ruffle effect to the paper. Now, you can, again, stitch it down if you want, or you can actually use the staple, which is what I'm gonna do. You can staple it a piece at a time. You could do three staples, just like that, just to make sure that it doesn't come undone, okay? If you wanna trim the paper, you can. I'm gonna leave it just as is, because I think it looks really flirty and cute, okay? So that's that. I'm going to add this X and O little tiny sign that I got from the foil collection from Project Life. I want to add that right in the center. And I also want to add this little cute gold ball, um, arrow that I also got from the foil collection. So what I did was I just cut it in half. It's not focusing correctly. I cut it in half. And what I want to do is I'm wanting to put one end on one side and the other end on the other, okay? So we can do that now. I'm going to use my hot glue for this because this is actually chipboard and you want to make sure that this stays, okay? So I'm going to hot glue the one end just like that. And that's what you're going to get, see? That kind of like pretty bow arrow effect and now we're going to do the other end we're going to hot glue it as well okay and just make sure you put it in the right location and there you have a cute little 
Look at that. Look how adorable that looks. Love that. Now, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the center of this adorable, super cute tag, okay? I'm gonna use my hot glue again because this is um, this is chipboard, so I can do that. And we're gonna place this in the center of our tag, which is also gonna cover our staple, which is a good idea, okay? Just like that. Okay, there you go. And then you have another cute little tag. I'm gonna put the ribbon Okay, let me just cut out the ribbon. And we're going to put the ribbon through, and you're going to see how pretty that's going to look. And it's so simple, right? You saw how simple that was. You don't really need, who says that you need a lot of things to create a tag? You don't. As long as you have pretty paper, you can create really anything. Okay, so we're going to put this through. A pretty little ribbon which is going to be super adorable because it's also gold so it's going to go with the gold foil X and O and arrow okay and there you have it guys there you have it the simple, adorable, and super cute tag that you just created out of basically nothing. Now, if you wanna go super fancy with the tag, you can put some um, sequins around it. I mean, you can really do so many other things. You can add stickers if you have. I have this love sign here that I was going to actually add, but I'm gonna leave that alone because I like the way this looks. I think it looks very simple and pretty. I didn't wanna to go too crazy with these tags because I want to use these tags on my project life. So I don't wanna go Super crazy, okay? I want to just do simple and easy. So let me show you again up close. This is the one tag that we did. So pretty, right? I love it. This is the other tag. I love this tag. I think this is my favorite. So pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. This one we also created. Very simple but cute. Okay. This is my other favorite tag. I love this tag. I don't know, just the paper and just everything about it I love. This one is another one that I actually love. It's so simple, very delicate, very pretty. You can always, again, put sequins or whatever you want on it, but I like to keep it simple, so this is perfect. And then the last one, is this one which i didn't do this on camera but it was very simple it's just again the crinkly paper in a different color and then this love i got from the foil collection from the project life kit that's it very simple all right guys that is all i just wanted to show you guys you know, a way to do your tags and um, a, a very simple, easy way to do your tags with simple and easy materials. You don't really need too much. Um, so for those of you who think you need a lot of things to create tags, here's a, a great example to show you that you all you need is as long as you have good paper and you have yourself little things like ribbons, you can create a tag out of anything. Okay guys, I hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure you thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. I will be doing another video soon with you guys. Um, probably my next video will be my Project Life um, little goodies that I got at, at Joann's. I really am excited to show you, I can't wait. Um, so guys, out of all these tags, let me know which one you guys like the best, okay? My favorite is this one. Okay, this is my favorite, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm curious to know which one of these, um, which one of these one, two, three, four, five, six tags you guys like the most. Okay, 
All right, honey, if you guys um, try to create these tags, make sure you tag me. I would love to see what your tags look like and how they came out. Um, make sure you follow me in Instagram. I am always Instagramming everything, so um, I would love to see your tags. So just make sure you keep um, in contact with me, and I will see you guys soon on my next video. Bye, honey bunnies. Stay safe.